to this day, bar manager Assumpta Laws is bothered too. Bothered by a bad feeling she had in the key club that night and some unfamiliar men in beige coats. Assumpta moved away from the bar to attend to something in the back room. When I came out, her wallet was still on the floor and she was gone. And then two feathers were gone too. And that was the only night you were there. And they were never there after. She was after me crying. And I often said to her, what's the matter with you tonight? And she never answered me. But if someone was after her or something, definitely. They had these jackets on the top. But what they looked like, I, I can't tell you. Because it's so long ago, I'm after forgetting, like, you know. When I went in the bathroom, her purse took she all up. She was gone and they were gone. And it, it put me in mind of, as if they took off with her, I, I don't know. Other customers at the Key Club that night told police they noticed the men too. We've learned that she was there that night and was having some problems with some men, um, probably three men at a table. People have told us that she was very upset and crying. She had approached staff at the bar who comforted her. But the funny thing is like the purse was thrown on the floor for me to get. That's what I thought because she had it in her hand and, and unless someone grabbed her and she threw it on the floor. I think someone took her. I really do.
1994, the RNC dug up an area in the woods near an old abandoned shack on the Cape Spear Highway. Earlier that year, police dug up a basement of a house in downtown St. John's. Despite their efforts, all three cases remain unsolved. I made several attempts to call the RNC to find out what was going on. No one would answer my questions. One of the RCM, RNC officers even said, 
I don't know what you're talking about. And if I did, I wouldn't tell you anyway. <laughs> the attitude didn't change from over 30 years ago when Henrietta first went missing. The family didn't know for weeks. I believe that there are people in the community who, who have knowledge and uh, for various reasons are afraid and I'm willing to uh, share them with us.
Verona Itulak is Henrietta's mother. I cry when I am alone, mourning for her. I will always mourn my wonderful daughter. I will always mourn for her. She enjoyed school. She enjoyed it very much. But while she was training to be a nurse, she also wanted to train to be a doctor. Well, the hardest thing that I was told, it was like, mm. that, your, mm. <coughs> that your mother's probably not going to come back, and you're probably not going to have no mother rest of your life, maybe. Mm. 